have my beautiful friend Jocelyn here joining me to make a lemon blueberry trifle. Jocelyn, have you ever made a trifle? I've never made a trifle. Well, you're gonna love this. Trifles are one of my favorite desserts to make when I want something to be present beautifully. Mm. So it really is quite nice because you have a glass bowl and then you have layers of cake and whipped cream oh and goodness. fruit or chocolate, whatever you put in it. And so who doesn't love that? I'm gonna start by adding two and a fourth cup of almond flour to a bowl. And then I'm gonna have you, Jocelyn, add some dry ingredients. We have baking powder and baking soda, one teaspoon of each, half teaspoon of salt, and then three fourths cup of sweetener. And we're just gonna add all the dry ingredients to the bowl and then get that stirred up. Now, Jocelyn, you have Four boys. Four boys. <laughs> and uh, whenever and I husband. think about your home, <laughs> I think she's busy. In fact, I think, do you ever clean up your house as your day goes, or do you just say, <laughs> just forget it all? Like, <laughs> so I told my husband, I'm like, I have four boys. I like things to be pretty and neat and clean, and it's like going up, going uphill because I'm like constantly cleaning, constantly <laughs> picking up after everybody. But no, it's it's fun. It's never a dull moment. <laughs> I'll tell you what, her boys are so sweet. They're so well behaved, oh, and thanks. we need more really good men in this world. She's raising them, I'll tell you that. And then we have three tablespoons of lemon juice and a third cup of applesauce. And then we're just gonna stir this together and then we can add these eggs together here. So what do you feel like is something that you do as a mama for to recharge for yourself? Recharge. Um, definitely getting away <laughs> from the house <laughs> when I can. Um, sometimes it's harder than not, but uh, it is always nice to be around girlfriends and not have to watch Coco Melon or <laughs> <laughs> that is play with trucks. Like, yeah, it has its place, but there are times when you just kind of need to and take I'll a break tell from you, it. One thing about Jocelyn is that she really does make time to get away. When we have a girls get together, really of any sort, you always make it a point to be there. And I always think, man, that can't be easy to get a sitter or to coordinate all four of your kids, but yeah. she shows up. And I'm telling you, because of that, we have such a long memory of friendship with you that really has never stopped or slowed down, yeah. even in the midst of motherhood. So <laughs> it really is important and you can tell you make it a priority. Yeah, mental health. <laughs> yes, for no, it's, sure. It's, it's, it's necessary. Yeah. So. Well, this looks beautiful, that looks and amazing. you can see that even with the almond flour, how we just used applesauce mm -hmm. and some eggs, how it really does look like a really dense and rich yeah. cake batter. So now we're just gonna pour this into a nine by 13, so you can put that right here, the pan, and we'll scoop that in. Yum. And then we're just gonna bake this up 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. You just wanna make sure a toothpick comes out clean. And then we'll make the whipped cream filling and the wonderful blueberry layer. We'll show you how to put it all together. Yum. <laughs> Okay, we have our lemon cake that came out of the oven and it smells and looks beautiful. Amazing. And I just cut it into little squares and that's what you wanna do essentially. You could just even crumble it up with your hands and just throw it in the trifle bowl if you're in a rush or you don't really care. But this looks really pretty doing it in the little squares. We're gonna do the whipped cream layer and we're gonna start with eight ounces of cream cheese. Now, I like to use Greek yogurt cream cheese. Have you heard of that? I have not. It's a little bit higher in protein and it's made with Greek yogurt. So you have the benefits of Greek yogurt and your cream cheese. But if you can't find it, any cream cheese will work. Okay. So we soften that, put it into a bowl. Then we have half cup of sweetener and a fourth cup of lemon juice. And then just about a half teaspoon of vanilla. And then Jocelyn, I'll have you take the beater and just go ahead and mix that up. Okay. Sure. 
Okay, so now this looks great. We're gonna have you add the whip topping to that and you'll just wanna sort of fold that in. So okay. don't mix it with your beaters because whip topping or whipped cream has a lot of air in it, which makes it light and fluffy and wonderful. So if you whip it, it's just gonna take all that air out and kind of just deflate it. Okay, so I'm doing the first layer of cake. I'm just taking some of the squares and I'm just kind of building a layer at the bottom. And the most important thing when you're making a trifle is to think about what you'll see on the outside when you spin it around. So if you take the trifle dish and you kind of just spin it around and you can see that you have pretty much the full cake layer showing at the bottom, that's what you want. Then, because it's lemon blueberry, we're gonna do a layer of blueberries. For this, you do want fresh blueberries. Frozen would be way too wet and soggy for your cake. So fresh berries, and then you can go ahead and this scoop some enough? of this in. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. I'd say about half, add about half to that. And then just kind of spread it out. And what I like to do is turn the trifle dish just while I'm spreading, just to make it easier to make sure that I'm kind of getting it all mixed in there. And if you get some of the berries, that's okay too. I, to be nice and the nice thing is, is that really when you look on the side, as long as your side, the side parts of the bowl is covered, you'll never know that something was imperfect in there. And that looks really good.